Hello everyone and welcome to Flotsam, a new first taste slash possible mini-series, depending on if there's interest in seeing more than just one episode. Now, Flotsam is an early access game released by Pajama Llama. Uh, fantastic name for a development studio. I've got to confess, the name alone is, is worthy of a peek at this game, in my opinion. But Flotsam is um, a kind of a city builder slash water world themed post-apocalypse but with a cheery rather than gritty side to it. It's, it's very, very amusing. Uh, we will be leading a group of survivors, of drifters, towards possibly a future in which they are not uh, at the, the whims of, of fate. Uh, the tides of fate, one might say. Ah, how how thematic. But uh, in a nutshell, this is like a, a sort of a city builder crossed with Raft. If you've seen my coverage of Raft, this has a lot of similarities. It is in early access and there are patches coming out pretty much daily at the moment. Uh, but with that said, as always, it's a little bit easier to show a game off rather than to describe it. So let's go ahead and jump into a new game. Ah, this should be very, very fun. Okay, well, that's it then. Garbage floods wiped away our village. Perhaps we should stop sticking to on these useless rocks and go explore. Who needs land anyway? These endless blue waves, that all we that's all we need. The flooded world is our oyster. Let's polish this plastic into beautiful pearls. Ah, if only we weren't out of fuel. Well, you know, everywhere starts somewhere. So, uh, okay. Usually, we'll go with uh, Dapper Dell for our city names, but this one shall be Dapper Deep. Now, uh, th th hopefully, we don't sink to the Dapper Deep, but if we do, hopefully, you know, maybe, maybe, it'll, maybe it'll be quite, quite chill down there. Who knows? Start our adventure. So here we go. This is our little, uh, little house. Now, unfortunately, it, it does, it does chug just a little bit at uh, the beginning of the game. But don't worry, the performance improves it's just loading assets I'm, I'm sure but uh, that that probably should be improved on it's, it's not the, the most amazing first uh, first impression you could possibly have but uh, there we go everything seems to have loaded in now uh, I have opened the game up I've, I've played through about an hour's worth of the game just to get familiar with it so I'm going to be skipping through the the guide info that's going to be given to us and we'll just uh, cover things as we come to them so goodbye all of these things there we go let's get in Nice and close. This has got a very cheery, very, uh, very cartoony feel to it. I mean, the, the textures kind of give it away, but also the animations and the models are just marvelous. Right, so the first thing we need to do is we need to get some materials. We start off with 30 water and 40 food, uh, all of which is stored in our main building. It, so it stores the water and the food slash any item separately. So. Uh, You've got a, a, a unique storage for water versus everything else. Now, the first thing we're going to have to do, and it does kind of suck initially, is we're going to have to send out our, uh, our raft survivors out here to gather things. And frankly, I kind of want you to gather it all. Um, go ahead and just grab everything you can lay your hands on right there. And I want all of you. Chop, chop, please. And there they go. They're off. Gathering a plastic and wood. These are the, the, the two most common items you're gonna get. You're gonna get wet wood from the ocean, stands the reason the ocean is wet. The wood in the ocean inherits this wet trait. Uh, we're gonna have to dry that out before we can use it, but the plastic is good as is, uh, though. Honestly, this kind of makes my heart hurt a little bit. Why does this game make the apocalypse seem so cheery and happy? I'm fairly certain if civilization were wiped out through rubbish tidal waves, it would not be a good way to go. Uh, pretty certain it would be a bad way to go. Depending on who, who you talk to, it's going to be a bad way that we go. There is uh, less uncertainty uh, about it, uh, if perhaps not included. But uh, I, I choose to believe that we'll be able to fix things before it quite gets to this state. But really, the uh, plastic necks for cans, that's painful. As someone who has actually helped clean up uh, clean up beaches occasionally, it's always really, really dire when you see a bird with its neck through one of those things. Oh, my Lord. Uh, right. Uh, okay, so we're slowly gathering things together. We've got a decent little bit of plastic loot there. Each uh, each survivor can carry about five uh, items. And we'll, we'll, you know, right now it's just kind of a mixture of everything. We've also got a little island over there where we can salvage a mast, some rope, and some metal scrap. Now, we can't do that until we've got a salvage boat. 
to that end, we're going to start building. Now, we've got a limit to how far out we can build. And right now, there's, there are limits to how much stuff is in the game for us to build, but uh, we, can, we can do quite a lot as, as is. Now, I'm going to want, uh, maybe not quite that large, uh, let's go for 24, about as far out as we can go. Bonk, there we are. That'll give us a good bit of room. Now, how do my survivors decide what to do? Well, right now, they're just pretty much deciding whatever they want to do. I want them to do things uh, in a very specific way. Uh, Sammy Flot, Windbreaker, and Strokes. Now, these are nicknames. I love this game for the fact that they actually have uh, have interesting names. Finn, Windbreaker, Boya Bays. Uh, that's that's marvellous. You can rename the nickname only. Uh, and I like that. I like it. It keeps, keeps a bit of the, the flavour. But let's find out the names for our three survivors here. And there we go. We have got Apple Fumble, Hi Kaiser, and Travis. Thank you very much to all of you for being patron supporters. But there we are. We have the beginnings of, of our little area. We've got everyone named. That's the first most important step. Now, there are things that we can do. I am going to say that Apple Fumble, from now on, your favorite job is to salvage. Hi Kaiser, your favorite job is going to be building. And Travis, your favorite job will be... Fish? No, no. We'll go with supply. Uh, we'll add other jobs as the uh, as the time uh, ticks out. Now, we can build a couple of things. We can build drying racks. We are going to need to build a woodworking shed, but to get that, we need the dry wood. So, sure, let's go ahead. Right now, we're storing everything in here. We are actually quickly running out of space, so perhaps, additionally, it wouldn't be uh, a bad idea for us to lay down a couple of spots for us to... Uh, store some items so this one will be good for dried wood i'm just gonna store the stuff that we're gonna be using uh so for example in here i can tell you not to store anything i can just turn them off we can't affect dried wood yet because i haven't actually witnessed any dried wood i've got to have made it first or have scavenged it before it becomes available for me to play around with in fact we're gonna add two let's pop a second one down right about there there we are and while all that's going on, we're going to build this out. Now, I can build out from these points as I please, but I would like something a little bit more straight. Uh, maybe not that far out. Maybe just 16. Let's get the most out of that 16, though, that we can. There we are. Uh, right, we can build houses as well. And they do require places to sleep, though it's not going to hurt them not to have a place to sleep. The only thing I want here... Well, technically, for now, I guess it can be just... Um, uh, wet wood. And I'll stop storing wet wood over there. We'll just move that down. Now, this can store 20, but as I was saying, with houses, they aren't going to be hurt by not sleeping, but they will sleep a lot faster and get back to work if they've got a nice place to sleep in. Makes sense, really, when you think about it. Uh, we are going to want some drying racks, and I kind of like the drying racks to be along the... Uh, this uh, jetty that we're creating down here. Now, I'd like quite a few of them as well, because we are going to need them, but that's going to require a fair chunk of old plastic. Right, there we go. We've actually got places now that we can store dried logs, and I'm going to tell you to store all of these that we can. Right. How much more have we got? We've got a lot of gathering to do. You're getting a little bit thirsty. We are going to get to that soon. We can build a distiller, and that is going to be important, but we're going to need the dried wood for that. We can build boats as well, and that's going to require rope, which we're going to get through the woodworking shed. So everything really right now is hinging on dried wood, so we want to get that up and running as fast as we can. Now, there is research in this game as well, kind of like Raft, you know, you'll slowly learn things as you move around uh, on the campaign map, because this isn't the entirety of of the world. No, 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 no. The world is a much bigger place, much bigger than this. In fact, though, in this early access version, it, it is perhaps a little bit smaller than it would be otherwise, but it, it's quite playable uh, from what I've seen so far. Or at least I certainly had a very thoroughly enjoyable hour, which may actually have been more like two because I lost track of time, which is a good sign, uh, I will have you know. I right, was still slowly putting together the uh, walkway segment. Are we going to start building on this one? Yes, we are. Marvellous. Now, we've got to wait for these two to be finished, but that's going to be fairly important to get pretty soon. Now, we've got a decent amount of plastic building up, 
I can get another one of these up and running, and I kind of would like it. I wish I hadn't placed that quite in the position I have, but oh well. Uh, three should do, I think. There we are. Perfect. Let's get these drying racks up and running. We do have time controls, so if you're impatient, you can go ahead and speed things up. Much like many games of this ilk. Uh, you, you can uh, keep going if you want to. Right now, only one person was uh, salvaging because the others have jobs that they'd rather do. We've got uh, Travis here, who I believe is... Uh, yeah, our, our main supplier. So supplying the building materials. Now, we can choose to dry fish or dry wood. Dried fish, it's not a particularly good way of preparing your fish for eating, but it is a way, and that's important when you don't have anything else, I guess. But we, it, it, we're gonna tr want to try and move away from having to dry our fish out in the sun as quickly as we possibly can. But that's something for a little bit later down there we go, this is going together pretty well. Ah, oh, fantastic. Marvellous, and then we can move all of that wood over into the storage yard. Now, we've managed to get down to 55 storage capacity, which, you know, again, I'm a little bit concerned about the speed that we're going through all of our food here, but uh, it's just the way it's going to be. I want to get all of these drying. Now, uh, what are you going to get up to, Apple Fumble? Are you going to go out there and do any more gathering, or are you just chilling out for a bit? What's wrong? I don't understand. I'm only able to salvage these items because there is no available storage space for them. Oh. Ah! Yes, my bad. You, you can go back. <laughs> uh, sorry, I turned that off in anticipation. Now, one thing I do wish the game did a little bit differently is every time you discover a new item that you can store, every storage you have gets it turned on automatically. Which isn't exactly the best. I'll be honest with you, it kind of sucks. Especially if you end up building a massive little uh, floating city with dozens of storages, because every time you discover a new new resource, yeah, it's gonna kind of be, uh, be a pain in the bum. But we'll just have to live with that one for now. Uh, right, for the time being, I would like to draw this one out. Oh, we're just shy of being able to get another 16, and I would like to go another 16 before I do anything else. That being said, Getting up a woodworking shed is probably uh, a high priority right now. Uh, Travis, you're going to have your work cut out for you, mate. You're going to be walking back and forth. Carrying the, the wet wood from over here, not the best, I will confess. So perhaps what we'll do is we'll... It'll limit our ability to store uh, dried wood. But honestly, I haven't seen anything that I need to store more than 20 to build anyway. So this would generally mean that Travis has, has less far to walk in order to gather materials, which can only be considered a good thing, really. Uh, right then, Travis, we have finally got a woodworking shed available for construction. Should I build it over here? Well, I mean, we could. Uh, it's, uh, planning early on is, is quite important, I'll have you know. Um, this will be making use of the dried wood. Uh, how about we build a little, little path out from perhaps around here, maybe. Just bring this out to 16, and we can we can build a little bit more there. Actually, let's go the other way. Why don't we just just for a bit of uh, a little little bit of uh, variance in how we set this up? Can I not build that anymore? No, I've used up the plastic. Well, drag. It's okay. We'll get more. Uh, how much more is available? Yeah, yeah, there's a decent amount of plastic garbage in the water there. There's loads over here. So as soon as we're done gathering from this boy, we'll move across and start gathering elsewhere. Uh, there we go. This shouldn't take us over long to build. And in fact, now we can queue up this building as well. Glorious. Let's slap that one in right there. Uh, I'm going to try and build a pretty little floating city. But... Uh, Space is very precious, so it may be a little bit more grid-like than I really want it to be. But at the same time, this is me we're talking about. So, you know, if, if my survivors have to survive a little more hardship, but we'd have a, pr a prettier city to, to live in, well, you know, th this is just the, the way it's going to be. Also, I love that there is a door down there as part of the walkway. That is glorious. I approve very mightily. Uh, now, though, we can make rope. Or rather, we will be able to make rope uh, eventually. Um, before we get there, I'm probably going to want to get together 
some uh, storage for firewood. Now that is going to be quite a necessary building reasonably soon in our futures. But before we go for the still, and I know this is going to sound a bit crazy, I'm actually going to prioritize trying to get a, uh, a rope up and running. I think that's going to be a much, much bigger priority. We want boats. They are going to make our lives so, so very much better. My lord. Right, let's uh, speed things up uh, just a tad. Now, Travis. Uh, Travis is going to be uh, always busy, basically. Travis will probably spend very little time ever leaving the base now that they are our chief supplier. Uh, there we go. We have got our workshop built. Now, right now we can make rope, we can make firewood, you can queue these up individually, or you can just say, yeah, fill out what, whatever's left with however much. I want two ropes, because there are at least two boats that I want to make, but other than that, I just want firewood. So uh, by all means, use the uh, the dried wood that you've got to make these things. Now, Travis, I think I may actually give you a new job. You're going to mostly be okay with, with helping out there. And in fact, everyone can supply as a second quality. But Travis, you're, you're, you're moving from supplying as your primary work to working in the uh, the workshop there. My lord, that is that is lethal. Why would anyone pack a, a garden shed so full of tools that by opening the door alone, you're almost going to decapitate yourself? Granted, you know, it's, it's kind of the whole organized chaos. Everything is within arm's reach. Everything is exactly what I need it and, and close to hand. But less useful if the hand that it was close to has now been thrown off into the ocean because it got chopped off by the axe that sprung out of the closet. I feel that it was a poor design choice, personally. Uh, right, next up, though, we want to grab all of the stuff from over here. If you just use uh, X or Z, you can increase the, the size of the salvage area. Actually, I kind of want to have a little bit more control over this one. Can we go more for plastics than anything else? Yes, please. Uh, also, you know, we'll, we'll still grab a bit, but I want more plastic than anything else just for now. So if you could get out there and grab those things, that would be grand. Now, people are getting tired, but it's going to be a little while before we get ourselves any bedrooms. I do apologize. But let's get a mooring point. I'm going to have this mooring point. Um, now, which, which side is the boat? Uh, it looks like the mooring point, based only on where I'm allowed to build it, it looks like the boat is going to be to the right, I'm going to say. Um, it's hard to say there. Yeah, it, it does look it, well, right as I'm looking. I guess if you were facing the mooring point from the walkway, it'd be to your left. But we'll pop this one in right there. Ah, oh, there we are. Perfect. Ah, marvelous. Now, once that's built, we can choose a salvage boat or a fishing boat. It will be a salvage boat because it is going to double the capacity of our drifters to carry stuff back to base. And that's going to be quite important. Oh, no. I, you know what's happened? Yes. Well, drat. Can you please stop storing all of that stuff in there for me? Thank you. Uh, but, you know, I'm going to need two of them, so I suppose I could build a second one. Well, we're going to get the first boat up and running at first. And then uh, once we've got a salvage boat, we're going to be able to get a lot more materials. Then I will switch to a fishing boat. By then, it'll be useful. Haha! -ha! We have got the still. Let's go and plomp you down by the, the main base. I think this is quite an important structure. So let's get that going. And once that's made, we'll have a use for all of our firewood as well. In fact, maybe I should limit the amount of firewood that can be stored. Maybe if I pop a uh, little firewood storage right in front here, that would be a good move. I think so. Um, and then I can take firewood out of the town heart. I like that it's ca called a town heart. Reminds me of a dungeon heart, so. Hmm. No, this is this is far far too too uh, nine an apocalypse. Far too cheery for this to be some sort of uh, existence in the Dungeon Keeper timeline. No, no, no. Uh, right, so it's going to take us a little while to get that together, though we should see someone coming along fairly soon to start building, just more or less as, as, as quickly as we've got that filled up, but uh, or rather loaded with resources. Now, how far off are we? We're just a little bit further off from plastic. You should be making a beeline straight for this plastic barrel. Well done. And then 
some more jerry cans, probably a dresser. Yeah, we should be we should be good. This should bring us back enough plastic to get the next little bit done right now. I'm gonna have to wait on the plastic for this. <laughs> Damn drat and indeed blast. We are gonna have to wait. Uh, I think that's more important, but we definitely need to get some more water sooner rather than later, peeps. This is gonna be a nasty one if we uh, wait too long. Uh, we're out of firewood, it seems. Uh, yes, actually, the internal storage is full. Perhaps I could just turn off your ability to store firewood for now. Yeah, let's turn that off. That way we can allow the, the firewood to just accrue. Ah, everyone's sleeping. <sighs> Seriously, what on earth happened to this world? We've got whales with teeth. Thought it was a narwhal at first, but no, that's not a horn. Those are huge, great bloody chompers. My goodness. In before, someone in the comments says, well, as it happens, there are whales with massive, massive tusks like that. And, and uh, suddenly uh, the world seems like a much larger, more mysterious place than I thought it was moments ago. Right, do we have enough? Yes, we do. Let's get this boat docked. Right, okay, that's going to be a massive, massive improvement for our current salvaging operations. Uh, in fact, given that, I would like you to, well, I guess salvaging, yeah, no, salvaging still counts. Whether swimming or with a boat, they'll they'll do what they can. If I place down a swimming boy, then they'll go out and they will they will swim for it. If I place down a salvage boat boy, then they'll they'll do it that way. So that should be fine. Um, we've got a decent amount of dried wood accruing. This is pretty good, honestly. I'm very very pleased with that. There we are. Let's get you some firewood storage right about there. And here we can tell someone to go ahead and distill fresh water from uh, using fuel. So I'm just going to go ahead and say, yeah, do it all of the time. Also, we no longer need this, so remove the marker, please. Stop heading out. I want you in base. We are going to want someone who's going to do distilling work as a secondary. Um... Hi, Kaiser. I would like you to do it as a secondary. And supplying is going to drop off your list of things to do. That way, if there isn't something that desperately needs to be built, you can make water instead. Right, finally, we have a way to get out there and grab all of the things. Now, this is going to open things up for us quite a lot because we can gather a lot more materials. Uh, let's avoid grabbing the wood for now though. We'll grab that one wood over there, that's fine. The reason why I'm trying to avoid grabbing the wood is because uh, if you fill up the boat with a resource that you can't use yet, it will just sit there and you can't use the boat anymore, which is kind of awful, really. Uh, right, we want another boat at least. Let's go ahead and pop you down here. Now, you'll note this is a mooring point. It is not a salvage ship mooring point. The boats will dock at any potential mooring point that's available. It doesn't matter what type of boat it is. So what I would recommend is not building your your city with a view to having all of the salving, salvaging ships docking over here, all of the food ships docking over there. They won't care. And if you build these things too far apart, then should your food ship dock at the place where you've built up for all of your kind of salvage operations, and unlo unloading that is just going to be a massive pain if they have to carry it all the way across the city. So I recommend building all of your your mooring points in the same place and just play to that um, that potential. There, there we go. Look at all of that firewood all, all built up there. Marvelous. Now we can actually say, don't make too much. So I'm going to say, only make as much as we can store. Same for the dried wood. Uh, only make as much as we can store. Only make as much water as we're capable of storing. Uh, honestly, the food and the, the rope, I don't think it really matters. But we'll leave it at that so we don't have to worry too much. Now, to make a fishing boat, we need a little bit more dried wood. Uh, so hopefully, let's go ahead and move this marker back to one of the wood spots. There we are. In fact, you can just now empty out that entire area. We can go over here now that we've got the the salvage boat, but I'd rather get fishing up and running as quickly as I can, honestly. I'm a little bit concerned about that. A little bit, tiny bit worried that we're going to starve. Uh, 25 and 14, it's not awful, I suppose. It isn't awful. 
And let's continue to store as much as we can. We've got 25 cans of food, one nutritional value each. It seems that uh, our peeps need one nutritional value. Well, I, I, there isn't really a concept of night or day here, but uh, as, as f perhaps like three between sleeps, somewhere around there, maybe just two between sleeps. I've not really paid too much attention, but dried fish is going to be a push for us because it's only worth half a nutritional value. So uh, yeah, that, one, that one's going to be a bit rough, no matter what happens for us. How much is being stored there? We've uh, definitely got enough that we should probably not be making more. Hmm. Interesting. We still were, but uh, oh well. Uh, right, we desperately need everything now, unfortunately. But uh, let's go ahead and uh, start uh, unloading. Hopefully, get some of the uh, wood drying, and we'll head out for more plastic shortly. Now they don't tend to take straight from the boat to the drying racks, uh, which is a shame. If they have to have a storage location, so pop the storages as close as you can to to your um, to where you're going to be using it. If, if uh, you want my advice, it would probably save quite a lot of time later down the road. Now, I'm going to turn off firewood production for a little bit because you are using a lot on that. I'll allow you to use what you've got to make the firewood there, but uh, it does appear to me, at least, that we have all the firewood that we should, could possibly want. So perhaps no longer storing it? Would be a great idea. I think so. You think? I think. I think we can all be in agreement there. But we're making plenty of water right now, so that should be okay. Right. Finally, we can get a fishing boat built. So let's get that up and indeed run it. Now you can move these around if you want to, and I'm, I'm sort of thinking that maybe I, I do. Maybe I just want the drying racks around here, then I can have the storages elsewhere. Um, that's certainly not a bad idea. Uh, I'm going to need a bit more plastic to be able to make another walkway. But I, oh, there we are. There's a, there's a book full of plastic. Just arrived. Marvellous. Marvellous. I approve. Uh, now, that one's down. We've got an extra pair of hands helping out. We're starting to get back. Our water reserves are going up. So slowly but surely. We're not going to die of thirst. At any rate, we may yet die of starvation, though. Uh, I, well, we've gone down five in the last little while. So, uh, actually, I think we, we might be alright. We might be okay. Uh, unfortunately, you're having to carry the plastic quite far. I do need to get another storage area around here. Uh, but first, I would like to build out a little area so I can have the storages behind some more drying racks. And we'll have a lot of drying racks, I think. It would probably be wise. So if we just pop you around, can I anchor this about there? Would that be enough? Let's see. Well, how about... I don't make a massive mistake. I build the drying rack first and then build the the walkway out behind it. It's probably a smarter move, honestly. Uh, so we could have this drying rack just plonked right there. There you go. Ultimately, we're always going to need it because there will always be a need for dried wood. So I, I, don't, uh, I don't mind too much having that built in there. And we can have some storages then built behind and that should... That should sort us out quite well, I think. Uh, we are going to need a fair old wall of plastic now, though. I could go to the plastic over here. Sure, let's uh, let's remove that marker then and get the salvage ship to just get exclusively plastic from over there. That should be fine. We've also got a fishing ship now, so we need to drop down a fishing ship point. The fishing shoals always have 25 fish in them, uh, so that should be... A uh, fairly easy one for us to take care of. I'm going to set one of these to start drying fish as soon as we're able. Let's get those set up. There we are. And, well, we could have fish on one side and wood on the other. But ultimately, I'm going to be swapping between uh, these um, choices fairly actively, I imagine. Um, as I said, we don't want to be drying fish forever. We want to cook it eventually. So we'll see how that one goes. Um, right now, how about if you've got nothing better to do, you do a little bit of fishing. I think that should be okay. If you've got nothing to store, then go fish. I think it should be fine. We'll set this one up for fishing as well. We'll have one or two set for dry wood, and then two for fishing for the time being. And now we can get this in place. Can I fit that in? I look like I can. Just. Ah, oh, fantastic. 
Okay, so we'll draw this one out to 16. Uh, we might as well. And then we can have uh, move these storages up behind the work shop. And we can continue to build out a bunch of drying racks. I think that's going to be a pretty good setup for us. There we are. Now, that can be stowed in the town heart, which means they're going to be carrying it all the way over there and then all the way back. We'll get a better setup fairly soon. Don't you worry. Uh, on that note, we can, in fact, start laying down the storages. So why don't we do that? We'll get one for fish initially, but we are going to be moving these, but I'll move them as we get the uh, opportunity to. Now, we are almost out of firewood, which means I am going to have to turn this back on then. Annoying, but it's necessary. Uh, there we go. We should be able to get all of that done. Well done, you. Thank you very much. And there we are, just loading up the uh, workshop now. Oh, oh, well, get the nibble fish out of the wood storage, please. Ugh, oh, my lord. Uh, you can continue storing nibble fish over there, though. Uh, but eventually, once this is made, we're going to take nibble fish. Oh, I, wait, wait, wait. Got to turn her off there as well. Ah, that is easily the most frustrating uh, component of this game, <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. Ah, uh, my lord. Now, the fishing boat can carry 10 items, much like the salvage boat, so a single fishing boat will make three trips to a fishing spot before it has run out completely. Uh, for the time being, I guess we're going to be drying fish here. Me as well get all of the fish dried that I can. All of these together will give us just 12 points of nutrition, but that's not too bad amongst three people. Uh, oh, wait, wait, uh, well... That was going to be nibble fish, but I, no, store all of the food over in the town heart, honestly. I would prefer all food to be stored in the town heart. There we go. So this should be just for nibble fish now. There we are. Perfect. We are getting somewhere. Next up, we want one for plastic and ultimately one for dried wood as well. Uh, sorry, uh, wet wood. Uh, so that will be our three main uh, resources. There is also metal, but we're not going to be interacting with that for a little while. And we won't be interacting with it for particularly large quantities, or at least from what I saw, that it's fairly uncommon. So we're going to tend to store that in the town heart as well, along with the other, you know, kind of sundry items. We, we don't really need to be stowing that in a dedicated storage. Maybe eventually we will upgrade to that. But for now, I think we'll probably uh, sit tight as we we are right we're doing okay with converting all of our dried wood but i really would like it if uh, more of my peeps would get out there and grab us more wood frankly so perhaps i should really give them the option of doing so but uh, as it seems right now we should be okay i think we've we've gone over the hump in terms of uh, the odds of our settlement collapsing uh, we only want wet wood here so that means that one can be repurposed and finally we're gonna have plastics over here there we go perfect right so with this we can go ahead and deconstruct now i'm gonna turn well i'll leave the dry wood one on but if you deconstruct you should get everything that you invested back which would be quite nice so some of that oh, okay. firewood already man you don't you don't miss a beat it's impressive really but truly, truly incredibly frustrating. Uh, we have got a fishing boat out right now. Excellent. How many fish are left? Yeah, okay, there we go. There's our next 10. Uh, and again, we, we don't need that much. We, we have got a little bit more than we could, could dry with that. So uh, we're still grabbing more plastic. We've all but filled our plastic storage, though. Now, is this going to be pulled down? Hopefully, yes. As long as no one gets distracted. Now, I, the game does have a few bugs here and there. And in my little test game, I did encounter what seems to be a bug where no one would finish breaking down a structure. It might be something along the lines of if something gets built whilst it's being pulled down, they get distracted. I don't know. But it was highly frustrating. Uh, we may have encountered that here. Ah, it's fine. Uh, they are releasing patches quite frequently, so we should be okay, I think. Uh, I would like 
to see if we can't connect up there. We create a little walkway there. Can we then store this in there? No, but that's fine. We can pop the dried wood storage up at the back there. That should be okay. Right, unfortunately we can't cancel the deconstruction. Uh, that is now completely removed. Um, makes me a little bit concerned about trying to pull this one down, but we can always see. Perhaps if I turn this on to store everything, and then tell them to cancel it. Maybe it's that uh, this couldn't store the items. Or, oh, perhaps... Really? Perhaps it's... Ah, uh, this is plastic. Of course. Perhaps I simply don't have storage room for the plastic. Mm hmm. That might help out. Though, uh, in regards to the bug that I encountered, that definitely wasn't the case uh, in my uh, in my first playthrough. Again, uh, they are releasing patches pretty pretty frequently uh, since this came into early access, but not quite daily, but maybe close to it. Uh, right there we go. Can we finally pull this down? Maybe we'll see. Let's have a look. It might be that if they run out of storage space whilst trying to deconstruct the place, that they consider it deconstructed and then leave it at that. Let's have a watch. Will you pull this one down? You'll go to sleep instead. Everyone else will. Ah, oh, my lord. Please tell me that that hasn't gummed up the system. I would be more than a little bitter about that. Uh, right, let's get back over here, grab some more items. Now, this ring that you can see around the town heart, that is the distance that your swimmers can gather materials. Boats have no restriction except for the fog. So that is quite an important one to bear in mind. It has that, has that happened once again? I'm not sure yet. We will have to see. But this one definitely needs to be set only for dried wood. Too late, though. We've already got some fish going in there. Oh, well. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, oh, no, there we go. You remove the plastic. Well done. Are you going to take this one out as well? Please tell me you are. Please. No? Hmm. There's lots of other things to store. That, okay, okay. It's full. You've got no room. I'm going to let you off for now. Uh, but let's hope that we can get that uh, emptied out reasonably soon. Now then, we do actually quite badly need more wood to be dried. So let's switch these back to drying wood. All of them, please. There we are. Uh, this one can remain for drying fish. In fact, I'm going to set this one up as well to get some uh, dried fish there as well. Wow, okay. I wonder if they can actually damage our boats. I'm not sure they can, but that's kind of terrifying. Uh, once we've got this done, I'm going to build up another route down here. In fact, I should be able to do that now. Can I connect? Perhaps. Maybe. Maybe not. Really, really, really would like to. Can I build that? No, it's a little bit too close, so unfortunately not. Perhaps if we remove this, though, we'll be able to. If not, we'll just build it a little bit further up. It shouldn't be too much of an issue. Uh, right, and this one should be set for gathering fish. There we are. And on that note, let's get our fishing boat out there again. Oh, what? That one's got 50? And then I was saying that they only ever have 25. Unless this one is also capturing that one. No. That is interesting. That's a, the first time I've seen that. Okay, well, uh, I'm, I'm all for that one. It doesn't look like we're pulling this one down. Hmm. Troubling. More than a little troubling, actually. Uh, okay, well, we're probably never going to fill that, uh, get this emptied if we keep gathering more stuff. But at the same time, I still want to gather more. Uh, since a fishing boat can bring back ten, having three dedicated drying racks will take care of all of the potential fish you're going to bring back bar one and since we've got a, a storage that can hold up to 20 that shouldn't be a problem and as you can see there they can access items from behind as long as the the parts are close enough which makes it really really handy super handy in fact uh, but we should be okay ish for for food for now and for water so what i'm going to do next is I'm going to queue up salvaging the sailboat on the rocks. Uh, yeah, it has a little blow. Some drifters tried making a town on that island. Bad idea. With all the gar garbage floods, a sailboat has been wrecked on the cliffs, though. Perhaps we can make use of its mast. Indeed. Indeed we can. Hopefully. Maybe. Possibly. Uh, right. The fishing boat hasn't gone out. And it probably won't for a little while. We've got too many, uh, too many priorities on other things. 
Uh, hopefully, once we've got all of the firewood sorted, though, this should be pretty nice. We are using up quite a lot of time to run all of the fish back to the town heart, but that doesn't bother me too much, if I'm perfectly honest. I I'm kind of okay with that right now. Uh, I'm still storing plastic over here, so no. We definitely are not having problems with plastic storage, given that, then. Well, drat. Well, there goes my, my idea. Looks like we're going to be left with a useless little dock. But that, that's fine. We'll, we'll find out something to do. We can do this. Like so. And just leave it as a relic of the past, perhaps. Uh, can we get in there? No. There's an absolute no on that one. Uh, perhaps I could just fit it in here somewhere. Can I get any closer? Looks like not, but that's okay. Uh, so we'll bring this out to about here. And then, hopefully, from here out along. Uh, we're going to be into the 16 territory, so I may as well get the most out of my 16 plastic that I'm going to be using there. There we go. But that does illustrate we can have little diagonal walkways, which I'm actually quite fond of. And there we go. We have salvaged everything off this island. Now, that's going to be one of the main ways that we actually gather materials as we move around. There'll be a lot of islands with uh, much better salvaging opportunities on them, which we are about to check out, because once that mast gets back... Oh, no. Why? Why is that even a thing? There is only one mast that I've seen in the entire game thus far, and that is that mast. Uh, granted, uh, again, I've not really played the game super thoroughly, but still, it feels like uh, the, ma the mast is, is kind of part of the tutorial. You get a mast, and then you can do new things with it. It has a single tab called navigation. Build a mast, we can, you can use wind power, sail power, to get around, which uh, it seems like a reasonable thing to do, honestly. Uh, right. Are we going to be able to get this built? What do I need for it? I need the ropes, the mast, and the metal, which should be offloaded in just a few moments. But uh, right now, a lot of our peeps are kind of busy building things. Ah, that's fine. We've, we've got enough time. Seems okay down here, though. Uh, eh, well, honestly... We're doing all right. We've got enough fish. We should be fine for quite some time. Uh, we are out of dry wood, though. Uh, it's going to be a little while before we get more, uh, especially considering our boat is not heading out to salvage right now. But finally, we have the mast. Now, we can build this more or less anywhere. We can build it off uh, off the, the docks if we particularly want to, but I think having it right up against the uh, town heart makes a lot of sense it's an important building that's how we're going to be getting around so we're going to build that right over there and then we'll have the sail power and the engine i'm assuming there's an engine in the town heart um that we're going to be getting around with uh, it did mention fuel after all uh, we want that one to be set for fish please and thank you i forgot to do that it was a bit of a uh, derp on my part but there we are there we go everyone has got everything set up i am very very pleased with this now, do we want to build anything more around here? I'm not certain about that, but one thing I do want is a rope. So we'll just pop that into the queue. In fact, I'm going to get the firewood out of the way so that we're not having to worry about that one. And we're going to need to get out and get some more wood if we want to get everything sorted over there. So we should be able to grab a decent amount of wood back there. We're going to need the wood to make the rope. I want another mooring point for another salvage ship. Right now, we don't have the manpower for that, but as you can probably imagine, in a game about building a city, that's not always going to be the case. Uh, now, we've got the, the sails. We could hang around in this area and gather the everything. And there's, there's some reason to do that. But at the same time, the longer you wait, the more water, the more food you're going to go through. Now, you're never really going to run out of areas to go. Now, there are some choices that we're going to get to, but I do want to get a bit of wood uh, before we move forward. So I'm going to allow my uh, salvage ship to offload the wood, start drying that for now before we head out. Uh, how much uh, food is there? Let's have a quick gander. Oh, uh, there's only 10. I'll allow one more more uh, fishing, uh, fishing task to be completed as well with the rope that we're going to get we'll be able to set up a little mooring spot over here now we'll have some storages back there but that does leave us with a place where we might indeed want to build some homes uh, i mean i haven't done it yet i do apologize everyone i probably should have made that a bit more of a priority really shouldn't i 
Uh, can't build it here because it's interacting with the uh, the mass there. But we can kind of drag it out in this direction if we really want to. And I think I do. Actually, I think I do. Uh, maybe. Can we get it out a little bit? No. Can't quite get it there. Maybe I can do it on this side? It doesn't look so. Oh, drag. I could just take this out by eight and then have it branch off. You know what? I like that idea, sure. We want a, a dedicated little housing district for all of our floating abodes. It's going to be quite important, if you ask me. How much of the wood over here have we brought back? Uh, there's 43. That's, a, that's another five trips. We'll get a bit of plastic and a lot of wood back from that. So sure, we're going to build up a, uh, a little area for houses before we head out. I think that is uh, right and indeed proper. We're going to need that one plastic that's over there and a goodly amount of the dried wood that we're going to be getting down here to be able to build the first one. But it's going to mean that at least people aren't sleeping on uh, rickety and indeed very, very leaky walkways. I can only assume that, that will improve their, their, their standard of living quite significantly. But there doesn't seem to be anything like morale. Again, it doesn't seem to hurt them in any way not to sleep in a house. It just makes sleeping significantly faster so they get more done. Uh, well, again, there isn't really a concept of day and night, so just more done, full stop. Whereas, as you can imagine, not eating or drinking, now that does actually start to uh, to, to harm people. I don't know if, if people can die, but I have noticed that if they were a little bit shy of uh, food or water for long enough that when they then manage to quench their thirst or indeed to uh, sate their appetite, they had a little uh, healing icon above their head. So I can only assume that they were gradually losing health. Indeed, if we have a look at them, they do have a health stat. So that seems to make a bit of sense to me. Now we are, again, going to need that plastic from over here, if you could grab it. Have you grabbed any plastic? No, you've just, you just grabbed one. That's fine, another couple of trips, and we should be good to go. Assuming that we don't use up all of the dried wood. Oh, okay, no, that, that is a storage that I allowed for dried wood. Crisis averted. But assuming that we don't use up all the dried wood making firewood, which uh, is unfortunately quite a possibility. This is meant to stop them at 20. Uh, we will see. It doesn't, unlike many of the uh, items, we can't see how much firewood we have stockpiled in the in the in the town. But we we will have to have a quite a close watch of that one. Now, how much firewood have we got over here? We've got five there currently, and 20 still. All right, turning turning that off for now. Can you please stop using up all my dried wood? The scoundrel, the scallywag, you. <sighs> my lord. I just can't get the help these days. Okay, I think we just got the, la the bit of plastic from the salvage area that I was waiting for. Let's have a look. Yes, we did. Oh, marvelous. All right, well, let's get the uh, first, but certainly not the last, of our houses placed down. I'm not going to worry too much about the, the space we're taking up over here. Uh, let's let's give everyone a nice bit of room to, to live in. We've got a small house, a home for your drifters, where they can rest. Now, each house is owned by an individual, so there's no hot swapping of houses. Uh, so one house will only mean that one person, the first person to claim it, basically, will have a place to rest. I mean, you know, it seems kind of fair in a way, an, an on cue, everyone is tired. Well, you know, if you don't build it before you all collapse out of exhaustion, then I guess you're just not going to get anywhere nice to sleep. You know, it's up to you, really. Uh, but it does seem that we have a decent situation with our food and our drink at the moment. If you wanted to stay here in the tutorial area, you absolutely could until you you uh, work through all of the resources that were available, or at least until you had full resources of every type that you were going to store in the quantities that you were willing to store it. I don't really think that's necessary. It's, uh, in my opinion, it's an un unnecessary grind. So I'd recommend just uh, playing until you've got what you wanted out of the area, but not necessarily going out of your way to make sure you have sca scavenged absolutely everything. There is always going to be more trash 
in the waters in this game. And honestly, that is probably true of real life. And I am now a little bit sad thinking about that. Damn it. But uh, I will cheer up immeasurably once I see the first drifter happy with a tiny little house. It's the very least that we can do. And then we're going to move on from this area. Oh, look at it. Glorious. Ah, who grabbed it? Well done, Apple Fumble. Straight in there. Your little house is yours. No one's going to take it off you. But your sleep is now restoring stupidly fast. I'm uh, pretty happy with that one. <laughs> I can hotkey. Ah, early access games. How I love it. You can actually turn off a certain uh, food. So if you have some particularly good food or, or someone who spends a lot of time working away from the city, I guess uh, the salvagers, you can tell them to eat the better food so they'd be uh, hungry for less time. New world, the temporary rejuvenating feeling. Also, torpedo moves faster. Oh, marvelous. Let's have a look at the others. What other kinds of uh, options have we got? So Apple Fumble moves man. faster. So does High Kaiser uh -huh. and Travis. Yeah, also moves faster. Okay, so they've all got exactly the same trait. Is that because this is the starter area? I have no idea, but uh, I'm okay with that. We're going to go ahead, though, and remove this marker. And indeed, we're going to remove this marker. Let's get all of the ships back. I don't think you actually have to do that in order to uh, to move on. But let's get everyone back to, to uh, the town heart so that we can move to the next island. And then we're going to be wrapping up this first episode. There we go. Got everyone just chilling out. Uh, and some of them sleeping on the decking. I, I do apologize. When idle, they'll typically just... I think they will idle around the town hall. It might just be they'll idle wherever they were when they became idle. I'm not 100% on that. But finally, we can move. So let's go out to the, the uh, map. You'll notice that some areas have these uh, sail icons. You can move in a, uh, with the wind, which seems to always be blowing from left to right, from uh, west to east. Uh, but if you want to go off course, you need fuel. So we're going to be moving on to the next area. There'll be villages there and abandoned towns that we can look to. Further on, there'll be fresh water, oil, abandoned towns, so on, so forth. Some places you can find animals. You can absolutely tame them. They become part of your crew. And like part of your crew, they require food. I don't know if they require water, actually. Uh, I'm only aware of the seagull. I don't know if there is other type. But they also require a house. And they will absolutely take an entire house for themselves, as they should. Don't settle for less, little seagull friend. But let's move on to Lonely Island. Oh, oh well. Let's go and uh, find out what's going on in here and what we're going to be checking out in the next episode. So I can see lots of fish already, lots of, uh, of resources dotted around the map. We have also got... The Lonely Island, where Munch, Deep One, Flot, and Aurora, Scurvy, Flottington are currently residing over yonder. We can rescue them. They will become new members of our town. We've also got the, the Shack Town. We can scavenge the ruins of this island. Maybe some ancient technology could be found here as well. We could use this for our research. And there we are. We have a little research icon. That is going to open up the research tree. And then from that point on, as we move around and check out islands, we'll get more learning so that we can add more. Uh, we can learn new things to build. Uh, we could get medium storage yards, better housing, a scrap smith, a plastic recycler. We've got small and larger water containers. We've got a solar still. Uh, as you can imagine, this uses sunlight to to uh, evaporate water from, from the, the ocean and capture the runoff, the condensing water now with less uh, salt in it. You can also build a desalinator. Apparently this is, uh, I can only imagine it's an upgraded version of the water still in much the same way the house and the uh, the storage yard are just flat up upgrades to the current things that we can make. You can also build different types of food buildings. You've got the fishing hut, which seems to just produce fish and import seaweed. Okay, whether you get seaweed, I don't know. Uh, fish kebabs, which will take a fish and fuel and will produce cooked fish with a better nutritional value. And finally, you can get the food truck which will take raw seaweed or nibble fish and can produce sushi or cooked fish. Uh, sushi, yeah, same same thing. So I guess we could just turn seaweed in straight into food and nibble fish into the cooked fish as before, or use the seaweed to catch nibble fish. Interesting. 
But that'll all be for the next episode. I really, really do hope you've enjoyed this one and will be joining me for the next. Let me know down in the comments if you would like to see more Flotsam. And if you haven't already, do consider subscribing so you receive notifications of when new videos go out on the channel. But that is going to be it from me. So until next time, do take care, everyone.